Today we are going to discuss Lagrange's interpolation. Lagrange's interpolation. Okay. So when we can use the Lagrange's interpolation? That is the first point we have to discuss. When we can use the Lagrange's interpolation? Previously we have discussed uh, Newton forward interpolation and Newton backward interpolation and central forward interpolation, central backward interpolation. Those four problems are having the equal intervals. So if you consider the Lagrange's interpolation, this problem, you come across the unequal intervals. So if you consider the x variables, here it is 5, 6, 9, 11. The difference between these two is 1, here it is the difference is 3 and here the difference is 2. So the differences, the e unequal intervals are having. So here it is the difference is 1, 3, 2, unequal intervals. Then you come across with the Lagrange's interpolation. Okay. How to solve this type of problem? Okay. So, <coughs> so we have to find out the value of 10. We know the value of y and the value of 6, value of 9 is 14 value of 11 is 16 but we don't know the value of 10 so how to find out the 10 10 the value of 10 lies between 14 and 16 but we don't know the perfect value of the 10 to find out the perfect value of 10 we have to proceed in this way 10 you have to write above the first variable of x that is 5 above you have to write 10 so here the formula how to remember means 10 minus 6 10 minus 9, 10 minus 11, you have to write 10 minus 6, 10 minus 9, 10 minus 11. Divided by 5 minus 6, 5 minus 9, 5 minus 11. 5 minus 6, 5 minus 9, 5 minus 11. Multiplied by the corresponding value of 5 is 12. Therefore, 12 you have to write here. So, the next. <coughs> Now you move this 10 to the second place that is 6 above you have to write it. So how you have to write the numerator values is again 10 minus 5, 10 minus 9, 10 minus 11. 10 minus 5, 10 minus 9, 10 minus 11. Don't write 10 minus 6. Okay. So the denominator values from here you have to do 6 minus 5, 6 minus 5, 6 minus 9, 6 minus 11. And the corresponding value is 13. Corresponding value is 13. Okay, the corresponding value is 13. Similarly, now you move on the 10 to the third place. That is above 9. And do this one. Okay. And next, you move this 10 to the last value. That is 11. Above, you have to write and do this one. So, if you simplify this one, you are going to get the value as 14.67. So just you confirm it whether the value is approximately or correct or not. So the value of 10, na, 10 lies between 9 and 11. That means the uh, answer should lies between 14 and 16. Therefore, 14.67 means the value lies here. Therefore, the almost all the answer is correct. Okay. Thank you.